I thought I should actually do a video on, you know, of course you guys are interested in, in what we do on a daily basis and this is what we did today. refrigerator that we just purchased at uh, Home Depot and you can find those anywhere. Um, what we've learned about this is exactly what I said. We've been on the fence on whether we were going to buy a 12 volt refriger refrigerator, an efficient one, um, which works a lot better in the RV. You don't have to worry about um, things in regards to needing solar. Um, needing more power, needing more battery power with one of those. But if one of those dies, then you have to wait potentially who knows how long to get a refrigerator shipped in. It could be days, it could be weeks. Uh, you know, given this time frame right now, you know, it could be a couple months before you get one of those energy efficient top loading um, refrigerator uh, compact units. So, uh, we've been on the hunt for one that we want, um, basically the same one that we had. I actually purchased one and that had a separate freezer that I thought I wanted because the all-in-one unit, sometimes the freezer does not keep up and then if you have ice cream in there, it doesn't freeze really solidly. So I did get one of those and of course I lost refrigerator space. And so I should have known that, but I didn't like that. So Bob's extremely happy with me. We've been running around for two days exchanging, right? Yeah. <laughs> exchanging refrigerators, so. And it's not that we couldn't find uh, the size because we want like a three cubic foot uh, refrigerator. We want to fit at a certain height and so on. This one works good. There's all kinds of them at the 3.2, 3.3 cubic feet range that are 120 volts. It's a matter of trying to see, you know, as long as it was on the fritz, and who knows, maybe we could have fixed the one that was in here, but it was more, uh, maybe we'll try something else because when we go to the new van, the thought is, do we go with a 12 volt top load, which is way too big. It's a cooler, you know, so it doesn't really fit in here, but then you don't need to have your inverter on. 24 7 like right do. right so there you know i've been going back and forth and sure you can buy 12 volts that are stand-up models too uh, but they're expensive uh they're probably six times the cost of what we just bought right so i mean it's like it's not a it wasn't like we were running around for two days for a good <laughs> purpose it was more trying to try different ones and yeah the one with the top low or the top refrigerator or freezer I mean was really nice but it took up too much too much of the refrigerator space so this one here fits really nice the other one was, came out a couple more inches than what I desire so this one is basically what we have outside of a little different features so it's good so it was kind of good that we experienced this scenario because again we were back and forth back and forth back and forth on getting an efficient one and we actually like the convenience of running into town, getting rid of the one we have, um, the place uh, the um, Best Buy recycles them, so we would just drop that one off that wasn't working, and then we bought a, uh, you know, a brand new one at Home Depot after we took the first one back from Home Depot because when we unboxed it, I didn't realize, or we didn't realize that it had a big dent in the side of it. So 
literally have had three refrigerators in and out in the van. But the easy thing about our setup is we just had to unplug it, pull it out, take it in and pop a new one. There wasn't, there wasn't moving anything. There wasn't any big, um, you know, inconvenient. We have to pull everything apart. We have to take all the, the material off or all the framing. Yeah, that's literally it. Plug, yeah. plug, play, and go. So, yeah, so one thing, because with the new build, is uh, the refrigerator is a, is a concern for everybody. It's like nobody wants to run an inverter 24 7 because it uses battery power, it's inefficient. But then you're going to have to get a 12 volt, which is very expensive. You're not going to go local. To, to pick it up. So when we initially built this van, we added another battle board battery in replace of inverting all day. So it actually, it takes care of the inverter um, inefficiency, I guess. Couldn't but, you say that that battle board battery costs us the amount of uh, actual efficient yeah, refrigerator? Much, very close, <laughs> you know. It's very close, but then we have a 3000 watt inverter too, but we need that for the induction stoves. But anyway, it's the, the refrigerator is a big issue on the van, especially a 144, because you don't want it to be too big. And the the top load ones to get a halfway decent um, size, they're long. They're like a record. Hands they're, on the wheel, they're, mister. They're, they're like a cooler. So, um, so anyway, it's the, by going local to Best Buy, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, everybody has the storm style refrigerator so it really really uh, it's it's quite simple but it's a dilemma too when you're building out a van because we considered the 12 volt so that's the day in the life on living on a van it's not hard not hard at all i mean there was no stress involved in it it was super easy our house is module you know it's not like we have to go pick it up with another vehicle bring it back and unload it. We just pull right up to the store, roll it out, plug it in and go. So in the meantime, when we are on our way, headed on our way back to Quartzsite, I spotted a billboard that said um, Tiny Home Expo at the fairgrounds in Phoenix. So we're going to head there and check that out because I think that would be very interesting to see and because of course we're living in a tiny home so i think that'll be a fun expo and so we're going to do that on our way back to quartzite to boondock in the desert before we head on to our escapers convergence which is starting tomorrow it's called the annual bash and that is where i think 500 rigs are showing up at this annual bash i could be off on that number i hear that it has grown since then too um and so we are headed there tomorrow as well so i thought i should actually do a video on you know of course you guys are interested in and in what we do on a daily basis and this is what we did today so thanks for watching guys and we will see you tomorrow